Good morning, Kev at Leeds Harmonica again. See? Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Instead of just uh, playing a lick and running away with it and having fun, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use bass lines in a more sort of accompaniment role. So if you're not soloing, um, you're behind another soloer maybe, or you're behind a uh, even a vocalist singing if you keep it quiet. Always watch your volume when you're accompanying. Um, and it's a really great way to play because you become part of the band. You you know, you're not, it's not, hey, everyone look at the harmonica player, he's doing cool stuff. You, you're just being part of the band. And crucially, you're changing chords when the band changes chords. So I'm not going to go into theory here. If terms like the 1, 4 and 5 chord baffle you, or if you're not familiar with the way a 12-bar blues is typically laid out. I have other videos on those subjects and the link will be down there as per usual. Um, this is a great thing to do actually if you're not that familiar with the 12 bar form because if you repeat this it will ingrain that sort of 12 bar thing in your head because you're playing the changes. Anyway not to get too bogged down in that um, I'm going to present the lick in two different ways, a very basic version and then a more common version where I'm going to use pulls. Again, if you don't know what pulls are, have a look down there somewhere. And pretty much that's it. I'm going to use a jam track that I've used before. It's an acoustic jam track and the reason I picked it is the bass is doing, um, the bass on the acoustic guitar is doing quite a similar thing to what we're going to do and it, it sat quite nicely when I tried it. So this is very very cool. Um, I'm going to put the tab up <clears throat> but I'm not going to tab out the whole chorus. I'm just going to say this is what you play on the one chord, this is what you play on the four chord and this is what you play on the five chord. Okay, Because really you need to understand how that works and if you don't I can help you with that. There's videos, well, give me a ring, whatever. Okay let's dive into this. Okay a harmonica, backing tracks in the key of E. We're playing in second position. Well, let's go. I'm going to talk a bit while this next chorus goes by. <clears throat> First time through there, I played just the notes of the uh, of the of the bass line. Second time through, I played with slaps on the notes, and it sounded much bigger and fuller. Now, what I'm going to do the next time is the way this is typically played is with pulls in between each of those notes, and it's going to sound nice and full and chunky and sort of big Waltery with any luck. Here we go.
more variation I'm going to throw in there. Um, I'm just playing the bass line through there, but it does actually sound uh, good if you sort of join in on the turnaround a little bit at the end. Um, so on the uh, 11 and 12 bar, I'm going to just put a little lick in at the end just to um, make it a bit spicy and, and that kind of thing, right? Here we go. So, if you're not used to thinking about the 12 bar form, just playing this, even if, it, even if it's the most simple form, it, you know, just playing that through and matching as the band or the guitarist in this case changes, it's going to carry you a long way. Loads more we can do with this, loads more bass lines and stuff, but. That's it. For, I'm, I'm going to continue sort of down this road because, you, you know, we can put little transitions in, we can put variations and make it sound a bit more interesting. You can actually turn it from something that's accompanying into something that sounds like a solo. Um, anyway, that was the point of the, <laughs> this video. That's all I'm going to do. If you've never played that before, do it. Um, it's really worthwhile. And I'll see you soon.